my question is directed at uh, Mr. Farrell. Uh, you said in your statement at, at the introduction about first independence facilitators uh, not expressing an opinion. And I, I mentioned that in light of the acute moderation of your Facebook platform. And, and I don't say that with bias. I, I am a member of Integrity Island. My name is Matt Lockery. Um, but I also noticed that moderation has taken place with another two candidates on this board tonight, not yeah. just Mr. Stephen Manning. Uh, yeah. Could I have an answer to that, please? Um, well, Eddie wasn't actually putting himself forward. <laughs> he didn't want me to Excuse ask him any particular questions. You, you did say it's for friend. anybody on the panel. But I do understand that... No, well, my name is... Yeah, yeah, my name is Colin, and I agree totally with right? your um, analysis of... Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael and accountability and transparency. Now, I, the first thing that I have to say is that with Mr. Daly and Mr. Farrell, that that comes into question straight away, accountability and transparency. They announced the panel, I was at the announcement in Castlebar when this um, independent six. There is a question and the direct question is, why was Stephen Manning excluded from the panel? Yes. And, and I put that question to any one of the members. Please, if you're just chairman, you're not in a position to answer it. I'm not. No. no. So will you, we'll ask one of the panel. Yes, if they're, if I, they're I, aware. I, I, we have, if if they need to be transferred. We have asked them, and they haven't really wanted to engage in the subject. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, really accountability and transparency. Right. I am here to denounce this whole process. And you guys, I'm going to leave flyers at the door, folks. I'm going to leave flyers at the doors. I'm also here to serve a plenary summons. This is High Court summons on Mr. Eddie Farrell and Mr. Mr. Martin Daly. Hello, folks. Here we are in lovely Belmont at the Broadhaven Bay Hotel. We've just come out of the meeting of the first independent Mayo uh, political uh, candidates. Now, as you all well know, I was excluded forcefully from this project over a week ago. We waited patiently to ask one simple question. Why was Stephen Manning excluded from this project without any proper notification, without any due process, and for no good reasons? We were then, go if we were going to get some answers, we were then going to ask, why was Stephen then defamed on the, openly on the internet? Why has Mr. Farrell and Mr. Daly not answered any of our questions, etc., etc., etc.? For two hours, we listened to Mr. Farrell and a few of the candidates, but Mr. Farrell in particular, uh, drone on, and I do mean drone on on occasions, about uh, the government choosing their own candidates, about ser self-serving interest groups, about looking after their own self-interests, uh, the no involvement of the electorate, uh, talking about uh, secretive funding of various campaigns, that they needed pet better quality TDs that were chosen by the people, and that there had to be an open two-way communication process between prospective candidates and the electorate, etc., etc., etc. Now, all that came to my mind as I sat there struggling at times to keep a straight face, given that they have excluded me from this process absolutely undemocratically, without giving any reasons, they have then openly defamed me on the internet and in local newspapers. I've warned them, I've cajoled, I've begged, I've pleaded for them to take this information down, and they've basically given us the royal two fingers. The phrase that comes to mind is brass-necked hypocrisy of the highest order. Now eventually when we did actually get to our feet after two and a quarter hours of sitting in there, we, we eventually got to, to say, ask a couple of questions and try to get a couple of answers. But the, the mediator uh, made sure that we couldn't get, uh, get our questions answered. They talked over me and when, it, when I continued to talk they all rose, which is the, the last great resort of a failed uh, democracy, they all walk, got up and started to walk out. But not before I was able to present to Mr Eddie Farrell and Mr Martin Daly this document, which is a High Court plenary summons. It was stamped and registered in the court today and will be served on them shortly. Th the reasons I am suing them, I am suing them for defamation, for fraudulent misrepresentation, for breach of a contract of guarantee and for breach of covenant. And if the other candidates had any sense whatsoever, they'd be doing the same because I don't honestly see how this project can go anywhere from here. Yeah. Finally, I repeat an offer I made to the other candidates. Please save whatever you have left of your own personal integrity now by getting out from the umbrella of this discredited and shameful uh, setup. We all now know that this project was funded by another major community group. The treasurer of that group had his son registered as a candidate. 
we found out today that the moderator today was the brother-in-law of another candidate and so on and so on and so on you know are we going to have transparency and integrity or are we not I would argue that if you haven't got integrity don't even start a process like this in the first place